Hi there and welcome back to Loopy Mabel Vintage Style. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe and then you'll be kept up to date with all the videos, all the tutorials that I do bring out. And if you're already one of my lovely subscribers, thank you so much. I really do appreciate your support. Uh, in this video, I thought I'd just pop in and just let you know what I've been up to this last week. Um, I've had quite a bit of a move round in my craft room, so I thought I would give you a little sneak preview of what I've been up to, how I've moved my room around, and just basically keeping you up to date on what I've been up to. It's been the bank holiday, Easter weekend here in England, and it's been absolutely glorious sunshine from Friday all the way through to today, which is bank holiday Monday, and I've been in the garden, tidying the garden up, uh, hanging up the bunting, and it's just been an absolutely fabulous weekend. So if I look a little bit rosy glow, it's because I've caught the sun while I've been out there. So what I've been doing this week was, I thought as I am now gonna include more sewing and maybe some knitting, as well as the crochet onto my channel, I wanted to, rearrange it so I could get the best use of the room which would then give me the space to do my crochet obviously on my wall but then also get my sewing table out all my sewing machines out and move my computer around and then hopefully I can have more room to do everything as well as the crochet because before my before when I before I moved the room around all my um crochet all the, the wall across the back I'll show you in a moment on my iPhone was all the wool but then I didn't really have much room for my sewing I didn't have nowhere for my sewing station at all so I was having to lift off all the crochet uh, items to put the sewing machine on and then back again and it was like a lot of time and unplugging cables so I thought right I'll turn it all around hopefully get the best use of this room because it is a fairly big room it's about 12 foot by 13 foot so it's quite a decent sized room but I don't think I was using it to the best so I've had a proper clear out I've thrown out lots of things that I've kept for years that I've never used and I've tidied all the walls moved everything around so now I've got a place for my crochet I've got a place for my sewing I've got a place for my office computer and my printer I've got my grip I've got a place for my sewing table sewing and cutting table i've got a place for mabel my mannequin she can stay where she is now she doesn't have to keep moving every time i used to come in the room i used to have to lift it up and move her and then put her back you'll see in a moment she's got her own place so she won't need to move anymore and it's just a lot i just feel as if i've got a lot more room and it's a lot lighter and i just feel it's this room is to the best I think I can possibly make it now. I've mo I must have moved this room round about eight, at least eight times. I've only been in this room four or five years and I must have changed it about at least eight times. But I think this is probably the best I've ever had it and it does suit everything that I need. All my crafts I've got to hand now, which is really good. So I thought I'd just show you what I've been up to. I haven't... Um, forgotten about you all and I've got lots of tutorials in the pipeline and now I've got all my room sorted and the bank holiday weekend is now over I'll be back on to my tutorials and my video logs the new projects that I've got and my new crochet designs that I've been working on too and a few little sewing crafty um, designs that I've been working on so hopefully I'll be able to be back more regular again for you for you all because I know you're always asking me what I've been up to so please don't forget to follow me on Instagram because then you will see on a daily basis what I'm up to and what I've got going and what I'm doing so if you are wondering what I'm doing on YouTube follow me on Instagram at um, loopy Mabel and you'll see what I'm up to so without further ado I'm going to transfer you over to my iPhone footage because it was easy just to walk around with my iPhone just to show you my room Hopefully you like what I've done and then I shall see you in a moment. Right, so this is the view from the doorway and there's Primrose just barged her way in. And as you know, or you may not know, but I do have four cats and it goes without saying, there's one cat bed, two cat beds, three cat beds. Primrose there, she doesn't like going in the cat bed so that's why I've only got the three cat beds. She just likes to lie wherever and so yeah so there's the cat beds so this is my view 
from my craft room so you can just see through the blinds my summer house which is absolutely chock-a-block full of wool and fabrics and then I've got our patio area so I've got quite a pretty view from my window now so I can look out there and look into the garden and then I've now got along this back wall now which used to be where I had all my walls it's now free so I've moved all those units all those IKEA units from this wall now so I've got my overlocker out my sewing machine I've got my um, daylight light there that I can stay there now on my camera on the tripod on my other tripod they can roughly stay there now I've got my desk area with my computer and my printer my memo board my notice board so that's the full area now along this back wall and I've got all this lovely natural light coming in on this wall so the what this wall now all those units that had all the wool in i have now moved to this wall sun the sunshine is just streaming in so i've tidied it all up moved it all so oh there's all my crochet so this section here on the left this section here on the left that's all my crochet so i'll just show you it goes all the way to the ground and in the drawer areas I've got all my crochet projects ready for all the tutorials so everything I need is in each drawer so the wool, the pattern, the hooks all ready for my tutorials to go on YouTube and then this section here on the right that is full of sewing, uh, fabrics, a spare sewing machine and bits and bobs so that section there is like haberdashery side a few rolls of my haberdashery fabrics are there but that's just a few rolls and then up on the top i've got all my ribbons and my buttons and my pom-pom trim and there you can see up here this section here these ones right to the top are my french chambre linen and the last video tutorial where I showed you my tunic that I made was made with that fabric there so they're, they're nice and neat there now and obviously all my wools and then this is my post station all my envelopes so yeah and then I've now got my lovely there's toffee this is my cutting station so I've moved all these units that were against this back wall here I've brought them all back down on the ground I've put the casters back on so I can wheel my cutting station about now but that's probably going to stay where it is because I can walk all the way around it and it's absolutely perfect there's my my envelopes now for my posting and this section here is full of fabrics and sewing essentials, threads and what have you. And then obviously Toffee is overseeing again. And then on the top, and it's at and it's lovely height, proper cutting station height, so it doesn't make my back ache. And then Toffee's lying on my cutting mat. And I've got my cutting mat in centimetres and then projects that I'm working on there's all my tools some of my tools um, some of my sewing tools my curves and rulers then I've got my rotary cutters so I've got all them to hand now so I don't need to get them out anymore they can stay where they are and as I said before Mabel my mannequin sorry about the sunlight Mabel my mannequin, oh there's our car and then we've got Mabel my mannequin she can stay exactly where she is without being moved anymore and down here is my ironing board 
which I've covered with some nice fabric. This is just a piece of MDF which I've covered. It's got about six layers of fabric on it now with wadding underneath and I just use this for ironing and pressing and just put it back to the side when I'm not using it. And then I've got my IKEA trolley which I there's my IKEA trolley, which I don't really use to its full potential. It just ends up being full of rubbish. But I must have a look at that one day. And then there to the right is my Simplicity pattern cutting board and my rulers. And there's my iron for my pressing. And then just background now, show you my overlocker. And then my brother sewing machine. And I've just got one of these mats down on the desk and it stops the sewing machines moving and the same for the feet have them both on one of those mats so the feet doesn't move when you got you you know the feet on the presser foot and they don't slide across the carpet anymore uh, sorry about the cables but you can't avoid that and then obviously my chair so I could really do with uh, another chair possibly a stool for the sewing area otherwise I'm gonna to have to keep sliding the chair across every time I want to sew and back again to my computer so yeah I need to maybe go and see if I can get one from from, a, from the junk shop or maybe a charity shop and that would probably solve that problem and there's just the back so that's my little office area and yeah so I'm really really pleased with it because now everywhere is in its place nothing has to be moved to get to anything and I've got M Mabel the mannequin she can stay there now obviously the cats well the cats are always in here <laughs> uh, I've got my fabulous cutting station and it's on its casters now and the casters have brakes on so I just put the brakes down and then it won't move and then obviously if I want to move it around just move, wheel it around but I won't need to do that because I can get all the way around the side hello from primrose so it's absolutely perfect and i love it i really think i've got it spot on now my room so yeah the sneak preview of loopy mabel this is where it's all happening this is where it's all coming from this is my very own creative space i know how lucky i am to have this space because it's the whole room is just for me I don't know how lucky I am to have this because I know lots of people have to use the dining rooms and set it all up and then take it all away every time and I know how lucky I am because I don't have to do that and I do really really appreciate this room and it's my little haven so I hope you think it's done okay and that is Loopy Mabel's tour of my craft room so yes yeah, so i hope you enjoyed my little craft room tour my rearranged room and also it gives you a lovely sneak peek into how i've moved it around and it's nice to see other people's craft rooms i love to see other people's craft rooms and what they've gone what they've got going on in there so yeah just a little a little sneak peek just to share with you behind the scenes I suppose of what I am about so if you did like this video please don't forget to give me that lovely thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe if you haven't already done so then you'll be kept up to date with all my videos all my tutorials that I do bring out if there's anything that you'd like me to cover please drop me a little note in the in the comments box below and then I will certainly reply to you and I'll certainly put anything you'd like me to do I shall certainly put it on my tutorial list but until the next time, please take care and I'll see you very, very soon.